Introducing team number one to my right. First from Providence, Rhode Island. Weighing in at 188 pounds. Pro Wrestling Savior, the one, J.T. Don. His tag team partner, hailing from Saco, Maine. His weight doesn't matter because it's big boy fucking season. Ace Romero, and they are the unit. Their opponents to my left at a total combined weight of 472 pounds, the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. And the King of the Barons, KTB, they are Iron Beast. Oh, welcome back to the price you pay. And we got some first time ever tag team action on tap here. Uh, things getting off to the races real quick. Ace Romero with JT Dunn, the unit, making their appearance as a tag team for the first time ever here in Limitless Wrestling, taking on a pair of debuts, the Iron Demon Shane Mercer and Kyle the Beast, collectively known as Iron Beast. Now, JT Dunn looking to take it to Shane Mercer early on here, tandem offense, and I am joined now by Rich Palladino in the commentation station. Welcome, Rich. Johnny Torres, thank you for having me. And uh, big tag team match here. Uh, the unit, it's uh, running rampant, apparently. And we've got JT Dunn and Ace Romero, who has turned his back on his friends and family here in the state of Maine. Joining forces with JT Dunn, it seems like the, uh, other than the objective of winning this tag match is to get that Limitless Wrestling World title away from Alec Price. No doubt about it, and the unit leaving havoc in their path wherever they go. No doubt, no doubt, and uh, first time we've seen Iron Beast as a tag team here in Limitless, and look out! KTB taking JT Dunn for a little walk around ringside. Yeah, scooping him up like the puny human he is. And speaking of puny human, Shane Mercer looks makes every human look like a puny human. Freakish strength on the part of the Iron Demon. Look at this. That is all core strength right there, Johnny. He could have stayed it there all day, Rich. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Shane Mercer, what an amazing athlete. Greenleaf a little bit out of position, kind of two as the uh, Holy You Know What chant has begun. And now KTB making his presence known in this tag team contest here. Ace Romero trying to run interference to no avail, eating a boot. The water in the pool. You want to talk about four athletes that have literally seen and done it all, whether it's Impact Wrestling, AEW, Japan. You've got four of the best athletes in this business today, and they've all converged here upon Yarmouth, Maine for Limitless Wrestling, the price you pay. No doubt about it, Rich, bringing the finest to the Yarmouth and vets here, and to all of you watching at home on IWTV. JT Dunn laying in the leather here on KTB. Oh, come on. It's the second time. I think he thinks he's Razor Ramon for yeah, God's sake. the bad guy, Rich. Yeah, well, he's a bad guy, all right. Now, Ace Romero. Very disappointed in the uh, choice that Ace Romero has made. And delivering that package pile driver to Alec Price. Yeah. Uh oh. These are, uh, this is a hoss fight right here, though. KTB and Ace Romero. Here we go. Yeah, this is KTB that. was seemingly unfazed by the first couple, but that one got him. King of the Barons, by the way. Oh, yes, yes. And that well-placed boot right to the dome of KTB. Ace Romero and JT Dunn, the unit. Notice how they have controlled the action, keeping their opponent in their half of the ring, their corner of the ring. Yeah, that is a wide barrier in front of KTB between him and Shane Mercer. 
It's the old strategy employed by the Andersons. You cut that ring in half, you keep your adversary in that corner, make as many quick tags as you can, administer as much punishment as possible to win the match. It's Tag Team Wrestling 101, and we're seeing it from the unit here tonight. No doubt about it. KTB isolated now. Has undergone a sustained assault from Ace Romero. Head first into that top turnbuckle, KTB. Shane Mercer waiting in the corner. The Iron Demon wants to tag into this match, but it's big boy effing season here tonight. Every night in Limitless when Ace Romero takes to the ring. Wind up with a pitch. The snap on that chop. KTB though. Oh. Slug it. Air muffs for the kids, ladies and gentlemen. Building steam takes off. But what a back elbow. Got to put some dollars in the swear jar tonight, myself included. Yeah, there's been a couple. There's been there's a couple today. There has been. But you know what? It's freedom of speech. That's what Limitless Wrestling is all about. Freedom of great professional wrestling that you're going to see each and every time. Limitless Wrestling is on the marquee. No doubt about it. Bringing the thunder everywhere we go. That's Limitless Wrestling, baby. And again, keeping KTB in the corner. JT Dunn makes the tag. In comes Pro Wrestling's savior. Fresh off an appearance on AEW Dark this past week on YouTube in a six-man tag team match. JT Dunn really making a name for himself. Ace Romero getting ready to head to Germany soon as JT misses the charge. Tags made, Ace Romero, the legal man in the ring. Oh, good Lord. Wow. Good Lord. That's 257 pounds across the chest of JT Dunn. And KTB looking to make the tag. We have not seen Shane Mercer for some time. We haven't seen Shane Mercer involved in the match since that ridiculous superplex we saw right. from the outside in. Right. The unit has just been dismantling KTB. Yeah, no doubt. As you were saying before regarding the, you know, WXW and AEW, the unit's going international. They really are. They they building really are. steam, adding members. You know, apparently there's regional chapters now of the unit. There is. There, uh, there's uh, one in the uh, Midwest area. Uh, there's one a little bit south of Massachusetts, uh, south of Maine in Massachusetts. Yeah, they haven't uh, taken the pledge lately. Yeah, there are fans uh, chanting to take the pledge here tonight in Yarmouth. It is catching fire, and uh, I don't like it one bit. Yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable. All the same, though, can't argue with the results so far. Oof. JT Dunn, one of the most prolific and surgical strikers in the game. I mean, we're talking four or five minutes that they have just been capitalizing on KTB. Again, you see, if you draw that imaginary line down the middle of the ring from one corner to the other, JT Dunn has KTB on his side. Not only that, he's got both arms hooked. So even if he wanted to make the tag, he's got to get a hell of a lot closer to Shane Mercer or break this hold one way or another. Oh, and Dunn, KTB was on his way to breaking that hold. That's the break KTB needed. Such extension, and there it is. The Iron Demon tags in. And here comes AC Baby as well. Oh, but Shane Mercer's been frothing at the mouth to get into this. Close what a combo. Close line to the back of the head can't knock the big man down. Oh, but that, that's a big, that's a big strong Iron Demon right there. There's no way he's gonna suplex. JT Dunn, putting the brakes on that. JT again, that lethal forearm to the back of the head. Good night! And he goes with the power slam! Talk about controlling the man's body. We just saw that. Knew his ring positioning, knew how close he was to the rope, still took advantage of that. Now Ace Romero might be thinking pounce. Oh, good lord! What? He's holding him up there, Johnny! Fall away, slam! Something different, Rich. What the hell is going on, Johnny Torres? You said it, Yarmouth. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, my. And I think we're seeing a second win from KTP. Oh, no. Wait a minute. This 
might be time. B2B bomb. Good lord. JT's done. Oh, I see what I did there. JT's done. I didn't even mean to do that. But hey. Hey oh. Dad jokes. wasn't intended, but we're gonna keep on rolling. Dad jokes. Sorry. That's it. What a match, though. My God, we've seen a little bit of everything here, and now Iron Beast employing that strategy, cutting the ring in half, and starting to dissect JT Dunn. And JT, JT's gonna have to be perfect on every strike to get back in this one. And so far, well, I was about to say so far he's successful, but Shane Mercer putting the brakes on, and it might be time, F-Y-F. Well-placed boot right in the head, down goes JT. And Ace just gets in to break the count. What a match! 2.8, 2.9. And now Ace Romero digging the Iron Demon out. Big clothesline on KTB. Tag Team Wrestling alive and well here tonight. All the time in Limitless Wrestling. Tonight's main event, two out of three falls tag team match between the MSP and the Work Horsemen. That's coming up later, but man, I love good tag team wrestling. No and we're seeing it here. However, this great tag team wrestling might be the end of our ring. Could be. Uh-oh, wait, Ch Shane Mercer. Shane Mercer. Oh, the God. Iron Demon and KTB gonna collaborate here and take the big man down. of Ace holy Romero. Shit, holy shit, holy shit. And holy these shit. fans are loving the action here tonight in Yarmouth. Oh, Dunn wanted to roll into the, into the leg lariat. Had it scouted. What a reversal. Into the midsection, Shane Mercer just collided with KTB. JT Dunn able to roll through. Oh, outside the ring. Goes the Iron Demon, here comes KTB, up! Knockout blow from JT Dunn. Oh, KTB ain't moving, could be it. It is. Here are your winners, Ace Romero and JT Dunn, the unit. Well, the unit, successful in their debut as a tag team here at Limitless Wrestling.